everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're well I'm excited because this video is going to be a good one I'm gonna give you a Q&A and give you some background information about myself I have had a few suggestions on what to do and a few questions so I'm gonna answer them all for you so without further ado let's get started did you have a nickname in school and what was it my nickname in school was sweetie C my name doesn't even begin with a C but it worked well in school Everybody called me Sweetie C. If it's not Sweetie C, they called me Sweetie. So that worked really well. I named myself Sweetie C because my auntie had a tag name, which was Sweetie C also. So I just kind of followed. So I, I don't know. What is the last song you listened to? Uh, the last song I listened to was I Never Let You Go. What's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is black. Um, black because I'm black and I think the colour black is beautiful. It goes with anything, any shade, any colour. What has been your biggest achievement today? My biggest achievement today, I always say, graduating from university, I studied journalism, news media and cultural studies. So I did a combined degree and I graduated. And I would say, my experience of becoming Miss West Africa and then winning again and becoming Miss West Africa International. So those two experiences were amazing. Those are the two amazing things in my life. Miss West Africa experience was just breathtaking because when I look back, as a former beauty queen, I am happy to say that I will go down in history. I am searchable on Google, on Wikipedia. And that for me is an accomplishment. It is amazing for me and my family are very, very proud of me for the fact that I have left a legacy behind. The whole experience within pageantry is overwhelmingly hard, <laughs> very difficult. And it's something in which you have to show a lot of passion, integrity and discipline because it's not just all about the glitz and glam and the fashion and the beauty it's also about what you know about the country that you're representing and do you have the voice are you articulate enough to speak in front of dignitaries and people who are influential in helping different charities and different you know different causes basically are you able to use your platform wisely and are you able to make a difference within the country you're representing? So for me, I use my voice as a platform and I tried my hardest to campaign for charities. Um, you can find more information about the charity that I do work with, I'll put the link below. Who is your biggest inspiration in life? My biggest inspiration in life, personally, I would say it's my mum. My mum has gone through highs and lows, ups and downs, and she has persevered through. She is my rock. Um, where would I be without my mother? So my mum is my biggest inspiration in life. I would actually say Digimon Honsu. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Is it Digimon or Digimon Honsu? because I was reading about his story and it really touched me. He's come from such a poverty stricken background and made it to be the excellent gentleman he is today, not only because he is an actor, but because he does so much things and helps people back home in his country and around Africa. So his biography will be something amazing to read. What star sign are you? I am a Virgo. Can you speak any other language? I speak a bit of Pigeon English, which is Creole in Sierra Leone. Where are you from and what country did you represent in your pageant? My dad is from Antigua and my mum is from Sierra Leone and I represented Sierra Leone in the Miss West Africa International Pageant. What is your favourite movie and favourite artist of all time? I would say my favourite movie of all time would be Apocalypto and my favourite artist of all time 
other than Michael Jackson, hands down, I would say is Mary J. Blige. What is your favorite food and why? And why? Because it obviously tastes nice. I really enjoy eating potato leaf, which is a leaf-based stew in Sierra Leone. So we eat potato leaf, we eat cassava leaf. It's made into a stew. I'm happy and I like it with a lot of pepper as well. I also like ego sea as well with pounded yam. That goes well. Have you ever been back to your country? Yes, I have been back to Sierra Leone three times. The first time I went, I was eight years old and it was an incredible experience for me because I was, you know, seeing everything from a child's point of view and I remember so many things happened. I went for five weeks. Five weeks, my mom allowed my grandma and my auntie to take me to Sierra Leone. Five weeks when I was eight years old. And I experienced so much when I was out there. I saw so many different things. What is your essential makeup item? Eyebrow pencil, for me, that is the most important. My eyebrows do not grow asymmetrical like they're supposed to as a result of like plucking, threading, waxing, shaving in school. And um, I basically messed up my brows. Now they have come back a lot. And, <laughs> but still, I would say eyebrow pencil is the most important for me. Foundation also, but my skin is cleared up a lot. What makes you upset? What are your pet hates? <laughs> I don't like it when I'm watching TV and someone just comes out of nowhere and changes the TV channel. Like, okay, I always ask permission first. Even if it's my partner or my mom or anybody, I say, oh, are you watching this? Can I change the channel? Some people just, oh, that's it. I don't like that. And I don't like sarcasm. I don't like sarcasm. I mean, everyone throws shade now and then, I get it. Where do you want to travel to next? Oh, so what's next on my destination calendar? Hmm. I've traveled quite a bit. I've been to all the continents in the world. Apart from Asia. <laughs> Sorry, apart from Asia, um, I really would like to go to China or Japan. I actually wanted to take another trip to Nigeria. So maybe that would be the... After Sierra Leone, that would be the next place. I want to go back to... Nigeria um, when I did go there it was for a charity event and I was there for four days or five days and I didn't really get to experience the city as much so I went to Abuja that was my first stop then went to Port Harcourt for a day and I remember it was raining terribly in Port Harcourt and I couldn't really go out much so I was pretty much in the hotel and then left, went and done what I had to do, came back and that was it. I couldn't really explore and then I went to um, Ikeja, Ikoyi, that was amazing. So I want to go back to Nigeria because I feel like I've got unfinished business there. Nigeria and Atlanta are the two places that I didn't get to experience properly because I was with a bunch of people like the team for my beauty pageant and you know when you're with people you have to work really you're not really there for play why did you decide to do a youtube channel it's something that i wanted to do for a long time this came about the time when i was miss west africa and i was really inspired by uh beauty by jj jenny jenkins i was really inspired by her because um she was one of the few brown skin girls on YouTube at the time and I thought mm, okay maybe I should but then I just I was like mm, no 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 being camera shy and just thought I couldn't you know I couldn't possibly do that I don't have the time and I was studying at the time as well so it was just like a no-no for me and you know I think God's time is the best time because at this time in my life I feel like you know I'm over with education and um, I'm able to maintain myself now as an adult so I feel like this is the best time and my goal here is to inspire young women or even young young men um, in the best way possible my interests are beauty fashion and lifestyle and I feel like you know if I can review a product before somebody else buys it and let you guys know what to expect that's offering a helping hand in a way and um, for me, 
I feel fulfilled. I feel like I've done something. I just feel like YouTube is a good platform for people who want to express themselves other than just talking on the phone. So for me, that's quite empowering. I'm just very excited about the potential and how it's going to grow in the near future. I want to do a lot more. I want to be so creative. Um, I'm into a lot of production work, so I would love to do production within you know a short film or something like that so that's all guys for this q a i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i will put information about my miss west africa work and the charity beauty pageant stuff all in the description box if you guys are interested you can click on the link so you can see some videos about me so i hope this video was very useful for you if you you know wanted to know more about i am she I've answered a few questions there. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.